Welcome back. Um, welcome to the empty garage. I know Corvette's gone, kind of sucks now. But yeah, today we're gonna be focusing on the Rebel again. I feel like I haven't made a uh, Rebel video in forever, so uh, here we go. Um, yeah, you know, I've been dealing with the Corvette as of recently. Rebel's been neglected. It's actually been at the dealership for about three weeks. Uh, which I will address in another video, but got some parts over here for the Rebel we're gonna install. It's a uh, radiator hose kit. But for today, actually gonna be doing a follow-up to my actual last video, which was the install on the UPR oil catch can. Today, we're actually gonna be uh, checking it out to see if it actually did its job and uh, collected oil that would have been recirculated into the intake system. Um, it's been about uh, two and a half months, almost three months since we installed the oil catch can actually. Um, I've driven, I'd say close to 5,000 miles since then. So, yep, it should definitely have some oil in there. I'm gonna be very surprised if it doesn't. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Get this hood open and check out that oil catch can. Let's do it. Down underneath here. You can see the steering wheel. The carbon tastic carbon wheel still holding up really nice. Get a lot of questions, a lot of compliments on that. Check them out. Carbon tastic. So pop the hood. And I gotta lift the little latch right there. And then there there's the oil catch can so yeah if you can see it's still holding up real nice still nice and shiny it hasn't corroded or rusted out or anything so that's good so as you can see not a great uh, vantage point here I'm pretty short I'm only 5'9 so I need to use one of these yep short guy struggles but it's all good Oh, don't need any tools to do this. Just want to go ahead, go down here, grab it, twist, remove it, and we can check out the oil. I'd also highly recommend doing this when the engine is cool. Um, obviously, if it's hot, putting your hand on top of this little shroud here or down here by the hoses, you're going to burn your arm. But most importantly, that oil, if there is any in there, going to be really hot as well and you really don't want to be burning yourself with oil so definitely make sure the engine has cooled down yeah so like i said before just need to grab onto the oil catch can spin it counterclockwise and it will come out i got a rag here just in case there's any excess oil i'm just going to put you guys down real quick uh, i'll push it right here so you can see a little bit of what i'm doing but depending yeah, i can do it with one hand see down here grab onto it ah, there we go I'm gonna start spinning and eventually it will come undone depending on how hard you tighten this will whoa look at that holy shit I was not expecting that much Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. What in the world? Look at that. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked right now, guys. I was definitely not expecting that much oil to be in there. I don't know if you guys can really pick that up, but the can is more or less halfway full. I was definitely not expecting that much oil. Let me let me jump up here real quick and just wipe this down so no oil drips on any of uh, my lines down there. Yeah, definitely surprised here. And you, you saw it firsthand. This is the first time I've uh, checked the oil can since install and it is about halfway full. Okay, so maybe you can see this a little bit better here, but yeah, that's... Um, that's after two and a half months and 5,000 miles with the UPR oil catch can installed on the Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. I was definitely skeptical 
with um, the benefits of an oil catch can. A lot of people say that, uh, oh, it's not force induction. You don't need an oil catch can. But yeah, if that's the amount of oil that we're getting after uh, two months, I would definitely say you need an oil catch can. So uh, let me just pour it out of this container into a water bottle so I can properly just, uh, dispose of it. And you can uh, clearly see how much oil is in here. Oh, so here we are. Yeah, excuse uh, my super classy setup I got going on here on top of my trash can. But yeah, we got oil catch can all drained out now, cleaned up, ready to be back installed. And this is how much oil we had inside that catch can. Look at that. We saved that much oil from being recirculated back into the intake system. Um, yeah, so... Like I was saying before, I was definitely a skeptic before. I didn't know if a oil catch can was going to do anything or if it was going to be beneficial, but yeah, I would say it's definitely beneficial. Uh, you definitely don't want that much oil being recirculated back into your intake system. Um, you know, the oil, like that much oil going back in here could mess up your sensor, it could guck up anything inside here, you know, just restrict airflow. So yeah, you definitely don't want that going back in there. I think however much this uh, catch can was, I think, it, I don't know, 120 bucks or something. I think that is 120 bucks, very well spent to preserve the life of your Hemi. Um, again, uh, I'm kind of shocked. I definitely was not expecting that much oil in there. I thought I was gonna be, uh, you know more or less bashing this saying that it wasn't necessary because so many people post saying that it is um i'm glad i did this i'm glad i can share this with you guys um i'm truthfully shocked so just gonna keep that over here so i can dispose of that with the rest of the oil when i do an oil change and again that much oil was just after two and a half months and about five thousand miles of driving so yeah that's that's a good amount of oil in a uh, pretty short amount of time in my opinion so yep once you got it all drained out you legitimately just thread the can back up into the little feeder piece up there just hand tighten it down you're good to go and you just cleaned out your oil catch can Feels good uh, making some Ram content for you guys. Um, I actually haven't had this truck for the past three weeks. Um, it's actually been at the dealership. I'm gonna make a dedicated video regarding my whole experience. It was an absolute nightmare, but uh, yeah, if you notice right up there, you'll see the uh, the recon light's not there anymore. Um, yeah, I'll dive in on that. Nothing against recon, but um, yeah, absolutely nothing to do with them. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. But yeah, I was driving the Gladiator um dedicated full time because i don't have the corvette anymore either it was great to get some seat time but i definitely miss my rebel so it feels great to be back yeah guys so uh there it is i more or less just wanted to film a quick little update video for you guys on this uh upr oil catch can i told you i'd do it so here it is i'm shocked um let me know what you guys think are you guys shocked did you think there was really going to be that much oil in there or am i just the idiot and the ignorant person that didn't think there'd be that much in there. Let me know, comment down below. But yeah guys, really uh, not too much to report on. Uh, like I said and showed you earlier, I got um, that radiator kit, the hoses that I'm gonna be installing pretty soon. Um, still nothing on the C8. Um, apparently the order forms are gonna go live on the 31st, so hopefully I can get over to the dealership and get my order in, but I haven't been uh, hearing the best of news regarding that, so I'll, I'll address that in another video. Some big news though, the uh, 2021 TRX, they, uh, Ram's been uh, releasing some teaser videos on that. That's got me very excited. I'm gonna be making a dedicated video regarding that. Um, we might see one on the channel. Also, the new Bronco, that's sick. Um, really interested me about the Bronco was the 2.7 EcoBoost engine. Um, not a lot of people give those engines credit, but you can definitely make um, upwards of 500 wheel horsepower with those engines quite easily. So 
That would also be a very nice addition to the garage, so I've been really tempted with that. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool to have a Gladiator and a Bronco side by side doing some good comparison videos between the two. That would be really cool for the channel. But yeah, the TRX, I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, like I said, we'll, we'll talk about that in, an, in the next video. I'm getting a little tongue tied. I'll save it for that. Let me cut this short now before I blabber anymore. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button down below. If you like uh, Ram Rebels and trucks and shit like that, hit that subscribe button, stick around for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.